Amen. Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we're doing a reading for Gemini Aquabria. So let's find out how you're feeling, what's going on in your energy right now, and what you might need to know from your angels, ancestors, and spirit guides. Well, you are divinely protected. So with that being said, I kind of feel like um, this protection can be in a way of, I want to say, against all evil. So this is going to help oh, for your enlightenment or awareness. So they're going to help you in ways that you maybe weren't realizing here. I'm getting. So what do we have? Oh, what else? Diligence. So you might be really focused on things, being very diligent, maybe have a routine or doing certain things or really working towards those goals, manifesting or some sort of, what else do we have? Let's see. Uh, it's two. I'll take them. Ah, openness to taking some risks here, maybe opening things up for you to have this awareness or enlightenment towards spirituality or maybe even taking a risk for it to be known. And sometimes that's tough because you can lose friends along the way. So yeah, this is a way of healing all the chaos in your life here with healing chaos. So there, you might be in a very dramatic type of family or space, or even in, um, if you have your own family in space, there might be a lot of drama or chaotic type of energy here you're going to take the risk to open up to maybe spirituality to go down this road and i feel like this is really going to um, propel you forward you are being divinely protected so you have nothing to fear regarding this okay i'm sorry an apology maybe for ghosting you so there may be somebody here that comes back around that's maybe from the past now, maybe you're already healing this chaos or whatever you took a risk on. Maybe it was a person. Ah, a player. So you may have sensed that and took a risk anyway and been open to it. Uh, let's just see what happens here. Let's see what other cards are going to come through. All right. So they like to party and have fun. Maybe you were having fun too at a party, uh, but you've had some type of realization here about this person so you yeah you may have heard from this person maybe you didn't answer maybe you aren't willing to hear from them yeah lies and keeping secrets so I feel like you picked up on this you're healing this already and you may be already over this this might be already done and gone and look at you you're gonna have renewed hope here with a new love coming in and I like this for you because whatever healing part you've done, you've taken the risk to be open to someone new and you're closing the door essentially on that past person and closing that cycle and which is going to open up this new one for you. So you've been very diligent about healing this and not returning to it. You may have even spoken this to spirit that you're not going back to anybody from your past or what have you or certain people um, and that you're not open to certain people coming back around. So let's just see here. Uh, okay, so. Maybe there's legal matters regarding this person that maybe lied to you. So, or maybe about this new love is going through some legal matters, maybe a divorce or some type of situations. Let's just see. All right. There's safety and comfort feeling, maybe being able to be self here with you or you with them. Between the lines, look for what's hidden. Okay. So you may be on edge. Okay. Um, due to what's happened to you in the past, you may still be healing this. Do you take a risk to somebody new? You're kind of looking between the lines to see, is this safe? Is this, I feel comfortable, but is this a safe place to be? Inner growth. So you've learned a lesson here. And, but the problem is, is 
Don't project things from the past onto your new person. It wasn't your new person that hurt you, unless they already have, <laughs> of course. Um, but don't protect. Don't take your old baggage with you into a new relationship, essentially, is what that's saying. Oh, there's family insecurity here. So maybe this person has a big family. Maybe they are family-oriented. This might be something that you feel safe about or that this person may be different in a way here. So let's just see what's coming through. Not what it looks like. Okay. So you are reading between the lines. Maybe you're meant to be aware of this. Okay, so maybe this is a test. Um, why are they in the legal matters? Maybe finding out why that's going on. Maybe it's to do with their family. So let's just see. Maybe it's not what it looks like at all. So it might be a good thing. And maybe the family is taking them to court over inheritance or something. Maybe it's not what you think it is. Maybe it is. Maybe it's exactly what it you thought it was. Okay. We have heartbreak and shattered. Okay. So maybe it's a bad thing. So let's just see. And finances, mind on the money. So this may have been... Um, something that you need to go through. Uh, it may be to see if you're going to go back around with somebody that looks like this other person. Are you going to see the truth or are you going to be able to pick up and use your intuition and realize that this person is quite similar to the other person? Maybe they just want your money. So I'm kind of getting with this, Gemini, Maybe this new person is here um, for financial gain from you, uh, who's eventually going to break your heart, that it's it's not what they're portraying to you. And you need to be able to see between the lines that this isn't good for you by the looks of it. It's just mostly about money. So uh, let's see. Uh, there's a lot of love cons out there. There's a lot of people claiming to be Keanu, a lot of people claiming to be Johnny Depp and other celebrities. So keep in mind, if you are having to pay a celebrity, come on now. <laughs> 101 here on uh, online scams. Don't give away money to other people that are claiming to be a celebrity. It shouldn't cost you anything for this belief, okay? It shouldn't cost you anything um, if it's true that that's who they are. And they're not going to ask you for money if they're a celebrity because they got their own damn money. And I don't care what people say about, well, it might be all tied up in finances. No, they don't tie up all their money in finances. They have cash around and it's not like they have no way of accessing it. So any BS that you're getting from anyone else claiming to be a celebrity, just know it's most likely a scam, okay? So, wow, there's some mirroring here. You may have a twin flame that may be coming through here. Now, is it this new person here? I don't feel so. Maybe it is this legal matters that breaks somebody's heart here. But it's not what it looks like. So let's maybe just crack the deck on this one more time. Ah, there may be a secret admirer within this family that you just met, uh, possibly from this new person who maybe broke your heart. But there may be a family member here or a friend group here, somebody that knows who this new person is that broke your heart um that may be kind of timid that may be a secret admirer could be a twin flame here so let's just see yeah endings bring new beginnings so with this ending that you may have had with this new person there may be somebody in the midst behind all of this So let's just see. It could be a twin flame. Look at this. They're going to give you a call. They're going to express that they want to get to know you better. They're thinking of you. Um, they like what they met when they met you. They thought you were a pretty great person. So let's just see what's going on. Ah. <laughs> they may have... Um, 
they may have this other person, their friend, this new person that broke your heart here, their friend group or whoever the secret admirer knows this person. This other person might be trying to interfere with this new secret admirer. So be careful that this person doesn't try to get you back as a way so that you don't get together with your twin flame. And we have keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Show gratitude and bliss. Be in that happy, joyful state of that positive mindset that you're going towards exactly what you are hoping to have as your manifestations and actively going towards it as if you already have it. So we have the sword in the rose. There's that clarity right there. So you, this person that's a secret admirer that may be a little shy or timid is going to know what this is and be open to the truth. And uh, there's going to be a revelation of this truth. So I feel like whatever this is, there's actually three people here. One from your past that you're not willing to go back to. Someone knew that you may be open to giving a chance, but they seem to be quite similar to maybe the past person that you're not going to go back to. There's heartbreak here where maybe you break this other person's heart because you're not going to get with them. Or maybe they break your heart um, thinking that they're different than what they actually are. But you're reading between the lines. So you may be seeing signs here of this. So you may have been the one to end it. But in all of that mess, that chaos, there is a secret admirer there. So this is interesting that this is being open on taking a risk despite all the crap going around you. This might be all in the same time frame, uh, close to one another in that one comes in, then the new love comes in at the same time or right after the other person is uh, told no. And then this other person comes up and wants something new or wants to be friends, despite how this new person's relationship didn't work out with you. So it's like within all this chaos, they're asking you to be open to the secret admirer. Take a risk. So let's see what's going to happen here. You're going to get some truth revealed or this person will get truth revealed with this secret admirer. So I feel like there's you're going to find out that this person likes you. And it's going to go from there. Look at that the beginning. It's going to start a new beginning with this person. I feel this is with that mirroring a twin flame connection, Gemini. So right, this is going to be protected with the number two. We have one, two. And uh, I feel like with this, um, it's... A beginning of planting new seeds or a new idea or a new beginning of a relationship with this secret admirer. We have honoring the past, number four. So I feel like you're definitely going to, well, it's 31 that breaks down to four. And you're going to um, honor the past in a sense of with this new person, if it's a friend of this person, I feel like you're either going to bury the hatchet with this person, but if they're causing problems here and the truth is being revealed, this secret admirer may not want anything to do with this person because of what they were doing. So let's just see what's going on here. Personal alchemy. So you might be able to transmute the energy into love and light and take things and change them into something positive for yourself or others. I like this for you because you're going to be able to make a lot of changes within your, within your energy. You're just needing to have that confidence or you have that confidence already with the number 12 breaks down to three. And I'm telling you these numbers so you can look them up in the angel number meanings and get additional messages from your past over loved ones or ancestors or your angels. So we have let go. So essentially letting go is part of the journey of uh, spirituality, which is letting go of the ego and opening up your heart to um, and other aspects of yourself to the experience of spirituality, where you are kind of doing the work on yourself, like that self-worth and the confidence and the love, and you're letting go of any um, limiting beliefs and, and people that are no longer good for you. And you're really 
looking at your behaviors and changing things about yourself to be that better version of self. I like this for you, Gemini. I feel like you're getting somewhere and despite all this chaos going around, oh, and you're going to appreciate what you have with spirit. I feel like this is uh, whatever um, abilities you may have or gifts you may have. I feel like this is going to be something of a... Um, showing gratitude to spirit about that. And that's number 23, which breaks down to five. So big changes are going to come in for you due to um, this spiritual journey you're on and listen to spirit here uh, by opening up to this, because this isn't ending up to be your twin flame. All right. And self-reliance. Now you may have been really, um, relying on yourself a lot maybe you were single and uh i feel like this is kind of with the number one here breaks down to number one which is 10 uh 10 closes that door of the past and you are opening it up to the secret admirer and i feel like taking this risk and you're able to heal all this other chaos that was in and around you so let's see what else we have here for you foresight so you're able to see before it happens and i feel like either it's some type of prophecy you might make which do we see prophecy here no no okay so but you are oh and we have the seeker i like this because with that seeker seekers follow the path to self-discovery so this is all about that spiritual journey and and finding out about self and uh doing the the magician <laughs> so with the magician okay we all know that that is that uh connection between the spiritual world and bringing it forth to the physical one connecting through spirit to bring down into the spiritual realm to into the physical realm the 3d where you're able to um make these goals if you will uh, or whatever your best life looks like and work towards that getting those things now of course when you manifest okay i want to be a millionaire well how are you going to get to that point to being a millionaire are you going to marry into it are you going to uh start a business where you make a lot of money are you going to um, get into finance and strike it rich in the stock market? Like, how are you going about to get to be a millionaire? Are you going to win the lottery? And then you have to look at the pros and cons of that. So I'm looking at maybe making a video. I've talked about this before. And, and I have been trying to do these um, cards for a bit too. And uh, I have to go and... and talk to the people and uh, have a look at what the cards are going to look like when they're printed. And uh, there's still a few things to still do regarding that. And of course, then I had to fix my car. So then <laughs> the money that I had set aside for that, I am having to um, maybe wait on that or just, I just have to get there to do it. So uh, there's patience here. So Please be patient with me as well as your person, <laughs> as well as your manifestations, <laughs> Gemini. So there's definitely, um, you've maybe really been patient about your manifestations and part of your manifestations may be coming through in the form of love with this twin flame. And maybe that is part of what you've asked for. And you may have already seen that this person's coming in, a certain individual, or that it's going to be a twin flame. And there's truth here. So I feel like you don't lie to yourself. Some people do. Some people um, lie to themselves. And it's funny because they they know they're lying because it's self, right? And it's, uh, oh, look at this, door to dreams. I like this. So opening that door, you know, to having that connection with spirit through your dreams, I feel like this is something that is happening for you. Maybe there will be some psychic abilities here or some type of divination coming through. Let's have a look. Um, <laughs> I can't make it up. 
this is your lineage. This is those um, psychic powers, okay, that you have. Um, maybe you're bearing burdens for others or looking to do your own thing uh, through your faith and sacrifice through duty for spirit. So the maestro is really um, taking that power and uh, that all knowing. So there are psychic abilities here. So this is interesting to me. This is like you are a conductor of uh, spirituality and or spirit, and it's coming through as from your spiritual journey. I, I like this for you because Gemini, you may have gifts that you're not even aware of regarding your clairs. If you don't know what clairs are, uh, you can look them up. You might recognize clairvoyance, clairaudience. There's a lot of clairs that you can look up for yourself about what clairs are and how many there are. There's quite a few um, clairs. Uh, <laughs> so you may have more than one as well and be able to do certain things uh, more than one. So there you go. You're going to get those answers through your dreams. I feel um, there's some type of truth here. You may be very truthful, honest individual, or you're seeing the truth when it comes to something here. Let's see what else we've got. Healing. Nice. You might be a healer. Um, you might be able to help heal things going on in your life uh, or yourself um maybe even uh someone that can heal other people it's like you take those burdens and uh bear the burdens for others uh, through your psychic powers almost uh absorbing their energy so they don't have to feel it <laughs> there's that transformation you're going to get those answers after you've done your healing journey I feel like then your transformation will start to go uh, through this. And the secret admirer might be one that's going to be coming with you on this journey with this transformation. We have grieving. Okay. So why are we grieving? What is it? Okay. Well, you've been inspiring people, but what's the grieving here? There's talent and inspiration. Financial health. So what's the grieving? You got confidence. I guess I'll have to find out through the tarot. And you have freedom. So I feel like spirit's giving the freedom, uh, the confidence, the financial health, the talent, talent and inspiration to do whatever you're doing uh, for freedom to do those things because of perhaps the way things have gone for you all through your life up until this point where you're doing this bearing uh, the burdens for everyone else and maybe absorbing their energy. And I feel like this is going to change. You're going to heal and transform this. Okay. Um, you may have been taking a lot of people of their energy of their grief all of that, I feel like this may be um, a transformation of having to take this grief. So let's let's just have a look and see what Tarot has to say about healing chaos. Okay, so this is all coming together uh, quite quickly. You're going to have some type of victory regarding healing this and doing what Spirit's asking you to do. You're protected. You are enlightened, you're on your enlightened journey, you're being diligent with what's being said here. You're open to taking some risk on healing some chaos. And in despite all of this, you are going to um, reject two people. But on the third person, the secret admirer is ending up being your twin flame. I really like this for you. So let's see about, oh. Okay, well, we do have justice, the world, king of wands, and a knight of pentacles. So I feel like with you, uh, you're going to get, uh, somebody's going to get karma for how they treated you, um, or maybe even both of them will. And you shut that door now and close that door on those cycles and not, not revisiting these. I feel like you may have broke it off before it got too far with this new person. I uh, saw the signs and I feel like 
this may be closing that door for this new cycle to come in. Whoever this secret admirer is, they may see that you are very attractive or they are very attractive and there is that offer. Now, that may take them a bit to get to that after all this chaos is going on. Um, it may be that they're very shy to come forward. It may take a bit before they do. But it's all in that chaotic time after this chaos, healing this chaos, that this happens for you. I feel like with the strength here, um, this may be for this person, that bravery to come forward. Let's see about the sword and rose. Yep, yeah, there's that death card and transformation showing up right here. Yeah, it's coming. Oh, look at this. It is your emperor. So it is worth the wait. So what is the self-reliance then? Tell me about the self-reliance. Ah, there's that queen of wands. Now, it was the king of wands that was here. Uh, so you're looking very counterpart type of person here at this time so it looks like it's going to be uh, a divine match here your person stepped up into the emperor phase here so or you have so let's see and it, it's about energy it's not about gender so queen of wands tell me about the queen of wands here i feel like this might be a business or you might be doing or taking action to making your manifestations come true. Yeah, you've been you've been very patient while regarding this. What's the maestro? Ah, okay. So when we have this, you may have seen that you were meant to walk away from somebody here. And as that seeker, you've followed the right path to discovery here, discovered who you are, you've definitely got truth and door to dreams are starting to open for you. And I feel like this is um, that high-ranking uh, ancestry maybe that you have or that they are um, or that psychic power. Sorry, I was thinking ancestry. I was thinking aristocrat. But this is maestro. So this is the psychic powers and bearing the burden for others. And I feel like um, this is going to change for you. You're going to be what you're going to be able to walk away from that bearing the burdens of things and this grieving, you're going to transform this. Tell me why that's here. Yeah, look, so you're going to become very um, wealthy by the looks of it. Uh, you're going to get the answers you're looking for and do the healing to transform grieving. Why is grieving here? Let's find out why that grieving is here. Okay, so there may be some opportunity uh, for these manifestations to come forward this is a blessing so why is there grief here then regarding this this path is open is there some type of sacrifice here what's going on oh okay now this may be that let's get is this coming home and being in the position of um Advantage. Coming home. I feel like this may be um, somebody that is in a family member, maybe your person's family member that is going home to spirit. Uh, maybe they're becoming um some angel ancestor or spirit guide for your person or for you, they're going home maybe to spirit with that upper position here. And then of course, I, I'm feeling like this is kind of like a, the higher up, like whoever has passed is going to God or spirit or whoever you believe in. So it's like they're going home to that upper position. Okay. Now there is a decision to be made here. What is this about? What's the freedom about? Oh, the freedom to be in that emotional side of things. And I feel like this is good because you may be uh, very emotional when it comes to uh, your freedom. You might like to be having your alone time, you have that confidence, financial health, this may be freedom to live life to the fullest. 
And I almost feel like this is uh, maybe traveling or doing whatever. Let's see what freedom's about. Wow. Yeah, look at this. This is all about, uh, this is on the fence. So this is all about maybe building your legacy. I like this for you because I feel like this is all going to come together. Um, this is maybe coming through soon for you. <laughs> this sun. Hey, look at that. You're going to have some really happy days here uh, from then on. It's like once your um, financial health comes in, your confidence, your talent, you're an inspiration. Maybe you travel the world. You have the freedom uh, of having to not worry about finances. And you have your emperor beside you. And there is a some type of um, decision you're going to make regarding something here. What's this decision about? What are we having to, there's two paths here. What What is the two paths here? What is this decision? Okay, left out in the cold here. Ooh. Oh, okay, so there may be two paths. One is going to lead to the cold, and one is going to lead you to true happiness, that ten of cups, that long-term relationship, stability, and the happily ever after. I feel like there's some type of chance of making the wrong decision here. What is this? Yeah, it's dumping out the blessing. Or you're going to embrace the balancing of uh, equal give and take. So why is that here? I want to dive into that real quick here. Tell me about this. Okay, this may be... Okay, manifesting and lovers. Okay, so this may be about going the wrong way here. This is about a lover's child here. So if you don't take this opportunity, um, it looks like there may be a child with someone else uh, that you may be manifesting without realizing it or that it was part of your manifestations, but maybe you just didn't take, maybe you wanted to have a child with this child, with this new person and didn't take this opportunity. This could be what you lost and your manifestations, which could be this here. So it's what does, which road are you going to go down? Are you going to be open to this or are you going to shut it down? Because if you're open to it, you're definitely going to have that equal give and take and that love a, a great love here and look at how happy you're going to be so don't don't make the wrong decision regarding uh the secret admirer because they will get the courage to come forward it just might take some time and if that's the case i mean maybe needing to learn that patience is part of your journey gemini so what is your intuition saying about um, your emperor? <laughs> yeah, it's going to change your whole world. Absolutely. With the tower, this is a sudden change. It's not going to be something you're expecting to happen. And this person's all of a sudden going to show up and declare that they want to get to know you or love you or that they um, feel a, a connection to you or some type of um love call okay or reaching out to say they want to be more than friends so with the tower being there it's going to be quite sudden you're not going to be expecting it it's going to change a lot of things it's going to change actually everything and um i feel like this is going to reveal a lot of things to you with this and then there's the awakening part aspect of this tower, which I feel is going to awaken you in other ways here, maybe through this love. And it's going to change maybe what you want to manifest. Okay, so let's just see. What does your person, your emperor feel about you? How passionate new beginning I like this for you, Gemini. I feel like you're going to make the right per right decision i feel like with this twin flame dynamic it's going to be a no-brainer when you meet this person it's going to be um and it may even be that you're attracted to this other person while you're with this new person and end up cutting that off because it's not what you want 
in order for this other person to come in. So, and you're not going to go back to the past that's trying to come back and you know, and you've seen, and you, you've maybe even saw beforehand that this new person was that way or is that way. And it might be something you've foreseen and it may not be a past person at all. It may be this new person showing up and you've already seen what they're like. So, I mean, take it however it resonates for you. You may have had a really good sense about this person when you saw them, and it may have been things that you would have gotten downloads on and realized already before they even walked up to you to say hi. <laughs> so, but through that person, you meet your twin flame. So, it's funny how sometimes through all the chaos and everything, love blooms. And I feel like that's going to be, uh, it may take a bit for this person to come forward after that, but it will be a sudden change that's going to be a very beautiful um, beginning, new beginning for you. And with the sun here, the 10 of pentacles, the lovers, the six of pentacles, I mean, come on. <laughs> I mean, wow, this is pretty darn great, I think. So anyways, thank you so much, Gemini, for all your likes, shares, and subscriptions, as well as any donations. Uh, super thanks. And of course, watching the videos. If you really want to help the channel, subscribe. Become part of the Divine Oracle Tribe if you haven't done so already. All right, you guys, take care, stay blessed, and we'll see you next time. Later. <laughs>